We've come to the Finnish seaport of Turku. Jan Visser works for the German firm Gleistein Ropes, fitting ocean liners with mooring ropes. This ship is nearly ready. It's the largest cruise liner in the world, and it does give you a certain sense of pride to be able to provide the mooring ropes. Just 24 of the company's high-tech ropes are sufficient to hold the 360-meter-long giant. The allure of the seas can carry over 6,000 passengers. The ropes don't look that spectacular, but they consist of high-tech material and are not to be underestimated. Just one line costs as much as a small car. The shipping company has paid a quarter of a million euros for the 24 mooring ropes. Each one is 190 meters long. Jan Visser is on his way to the winch deck. He has to walk more than half a kilometer to get there. But the trip proves worthwhile. The winches are not in a good state. This will have to be sanded down. There were steel cables on here, and that could cause damage. You can see here there are really deep grooves. If the remains of the steel stay on here, they could really damage the rope. And that would be expensive. But as long as they're not damaged, the mooring lines can easily cope with weights of over 150 tons. The workers have to stay fully focused. The ropes can't be allowed to form knots, so they have to remain taut at all times. And this is where the ropes are manufactured, at Gleistein Ropes. The Bremen-based company has been making mooring lines since 1824. For decades, sisal, hemp and other natural fibers were the main materials used to make them. Today, only man-made fibers are used. The firm has 160 employees and a turnover of around 15 million euros a year. A large portion of that is poured back into research and development. This oven is one of the firm's own creations. It adds another 20% to the strength of the ropes. The material has similar qualities to a cable. It's also very light, it floats, but its strength exceeds that of all other standard materials currently available. Entire drilling rigs are even held in place by such lines, although they are even thicker, measuring 30 centimeters in diameter. These are the mooring lines used on the cruise liners and are manufactured especially for the purpose. After just under a week, the workers at the shipyard in Turku have installed all 24 mooring lines on the cruise liner. Fortunately, it's not a difficult job because the ropes are very light. That will be another advantage for the crew later on. Securing the ship in docks all over the world will be that much easier. <laughs>